Where's the rabbits? Where's the rabbits? Morning, everyone. Just gonna get up, let the dogs out, get ready for work today. G'day, mate. G'day. Covey's ready to go. He's had a couple of days rest, haven't you, mate? Haven't you? Oh, poor old snake's in there somewhere. He's busted. Shook. Shook's young and energetic. Lots of energy. Got a storm, bit of a storm coming today. I reckon about 13 mil. Uh, bit of thunder and lightning, which is always nice. I love those days. All right, get in and warm the car up. There's some of the sheep. Here we go, here's the majority of the mob. A couple of alpacas in there. I love the alpacas, they do a great job. They protect those lambs like they're their own, it's amazing. If a lamb gets left behind from a mob, that alpaca will stay with that lamb until the mob comes back. Are they hard on mustering? Not really. They kind of get it, they understand what's going on. They give the dogs a bit of a hard time occasionally, but they get it, they know that it's time to move, and so they move. Right here we've, we've come to a, uh, we've come to a canola paddock. Now, a quick, a quick history on the paddock. It was a wheat stubble last year. Uh, we sowed into a standing stubble. The stubble was so light, we just sowed straight into it. We, we decided to bring this paddock back into a pasture program we it, it's done probably it's done its five years of cropping so we decided to bring it back into a pasture but it was a wheat and we did not want to do a wheat on wheat so we decided to under sow canola first time i've done it i know a lot of people around the district have done it and had pretty good success so it's, it's nothing new but it's new to me first time i've done it so we could we, we didn't have a lot of seed all my canola is grazing canola, so I had a lot of canola, grazing canola seed on hand. We had a couple of hundred kilos of, of archer canola. Now I think it's, to be honest, I think it's about 10 years old, that seed. Been sitting in the shed for about 10 years. Anyway, we thought we'd give it a go. If it failed, the canola failed, it wasn't going to be a problem because we just cared about the, the undersown pasture. Anyway, I thought I'd come and show you it and just see the success we've had. It's phenomenal. Canola seed that probably was going to get thrown out anyway. That's how it's looking. And then down here, we've got clovers coming through. I think that's arrow leaf. We've got about four or five different clovers. As far as loosen goes, as you can see, up to chest height. And the, and the clover is growing above. As you can see, the flower, the clover is growing above the canola. It's just phenomenal. That'd be, like I said, I'm not very tall, but I'm five, seven, and that's definitely above my head. Couldn't help myself. I had to give you an indication of how high this crop was. Way out of my head. It's usually about chest height, so it's a good season. It's a great season. It's probably the best season ever, actually. I've heard a few old timers say that it's the best season they've ever seen. A 70 year old, so best season in 70 years, put it that way. Righto, I've got to head back now. It's quarter past nine, I've got to get back and, and get ready to do my job. Process those sheep off the boards.
as you just saw, all the wind roads done for the season. Very happy about that. It's just one of another job off my mind. That looks so good when the wind roads. It just looks good. I like the look of it. Makes everything look good around the place. Uh, finished today. As my old man used to always say, another day, another dollar. I'm going to give everyone a roundup of what we've been doing over the last couple of days. We were flat out baling hay because canola was windrowed and it wasn't ready, so we thought we'll get into some hay making. Canola harvest started, so we got into that. That went for about seven days, and the roundup is it was probably one of the best canola harvests I've ever witnessed. It was phenomenal, couldn't be happier. The yields were unbelievable something I've never experienced before. Anyway, we we finished, I think it took us seven days to get the wind drying, the uh, canola harvest out of the way, with about, I'm not joking, about a hectare to go, the rain started to fall, and we finished up, and then it just poured. So we got very, very lucky. It poured rain. I think we had 26 mil. The wheat was ready to go, but because of that rain, it put a a hold on things for a couple of days uh, so we we sat around for a couple of days and waited for the the wheat to come in in the meantime we did a little bit of cattle work which you'll probably see on some of the vlogs we did uh, we did that for about two days then we got back into the wheat harvest and this is the paddock where we started you can probably see it in the background it's a 50 hectare paddock We've done 20 hectares, we yielded 120 tonne, which comes back at 6 tonne to the hectare. Now that, for me, is unbelievable. I jumped in the header briefly for a couple of minutes and it was jumping up to 9 tonnes in area, in areas. Uh, but so far we've, we're averaging 6 tonnes, so that's what it is. And for me that's outstanding again. The yields this year are phenomenal. Uh, anyway, that's where we're at as far as harvesting goes. It's stopped now. It's Christmas Eve, Christmas tomorrow. I've come just to do two things. Just to, firstly, start the fire truck over there. Make sure it's running because we won't be back here for another old Christmas day and then Boxing Day. And, and then the day after. So if it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll be back here in two days time which is Sunday to get another start hopefully the weather stays away the wet weather stays away that's about all I hope you're enjoying the vlogs I hope you guys are all enjoying the vlogs uh, we certainly live the dream out here it is 
so much fun every day, something different every day. And I just thought it'd be fun for you viewers to come along for the ride and just see what we do every day and why it's so much fun. And I hope you enjoy the ride. Thank you and Merry Christmas.